No, the charges a Gwinnett County High School student is being hit with after being accused of stabbing a classmate. Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery is live in Snailville at the school. And Madeline, we just learned what those charges are. That's right. We've learned that that student is charged with aggravated assault, possession of a weapon on a school campus, and disruption of school. And this whole situation has parents and students frightened. I was walking down the hallway and I noticed like a bunch of police officers coming out of the bathroom. An alarming interruption to class. A student stabbed multiple times in the bathroom of Brookwood High School, according to administration. My mom was like texting me all day, seeing what was going on. The suspect, another student, picked up in a nearby neighborhood half an hour later. I want to transfer. It's making students and parents question what safety measures are in place at one of the largest high schools in the state of Georgia. This shouldn't be happening. You know, we can't protect our kids at school, so it, it, I'm scared for them. While the second largest district in the state, Cobb County, uses body scanners, Gwinnett does not. We have numerous security measures in place to protect students and staff. Um, this school does not have metal detectors. That's just by an increase in incidents on Gwinnett County campuses. I discussed the issue one on one with Gwinnett Superintendent Dr. Calvin Watts at the start of the school year. We've had increases in, in assaults and, uh, and fights that have occurred on campus, as well as firearms that have been brought onto campus. They have a, a, a tip line that allows our our students and our families to to say something when they see something that shouldn't be happening. Uh, we also provide uh, additional SROs or school resource officers. Following the stabbing, the district promises more safety efforts. Administrators are already reviewing the safety measures that we have in place to ensure that something like this doesn't happen again. We're told by a spokesperson for the district that since the victim is a minor in this situation and for the privacy of that student, they cannot release how that student is doing since being stabbed. For now, reporting live in Snellville, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.